Hi, I'm Sebastian Copeland, and I would like to take you on a journey. In this episode, I will travel to the Audi plant in Gear and find out how the company is achieving its goal to become carbon neutral on balance in production and how innovation is helping along the way. So come along, let's check it out. We are here in September and it's uh, 31 degrees. It's something changing. How committed is Audi to decarbonization as an automaker? We implemented our energy management system with the, with the aim to reduce our energy consumption and uh, to improve the energy efficiency. We are using green electricity and green energy, so we have clear strategic targets. All of the Audi production facilities should be carbon neutral and balanced by 2025. Uh, Audi Hungary has already achieved this target in 2020. What type of programs do you have with that respect? We are actively working on decarbonization issues. I can mention here, for example, our photovoltaic project. And all of this up there is your rooftop? You will see it, you will uh -huh. see it. It's pretty substantial. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah, so incredible. Here we are. Wow. And it's only one part of that, so it's, it's doubled on the other side. I think it's a great solution for having green energy on board. All of this was built in 2020? The project began in 2019 okay. and uh, we finished the project in 2020. So wow, this is a substantial footprint. Now, what's the output? So it's uh, together is uh, 12 megawatt peak capacity, which means that is one of the uh, biggest uh, rooftop solar park in Europe. 12 megawatt? 12 megawatt peaks and uh, it lays on uh, 160,000 square meters, which is uh, quite a huge area. We can uh, neutralize uh, approximately 9,500 uh, tons of uh, CO2 yearly uh, with that device. It's a clear sign of uh, our commitment to using green energies and to decarbonize our actions. But uh, beside these huge projects, we are uh, continuously improving our performance. For example, heat recovery is a really important issue at Audi Hungaria because uh, during the production, there are so many waste heats and we try to utilize that waste heat. That's very interesting. Yeah. So you, what, you, you, you suck the heat in and then you yeah, distribute yeah, yeah. it elsewhere? Yeah. Uh, with them we can lower our CO2 emissions because we do not have to produce uh, the heat again. Uh, it will be a rotational heat exchanger. We use that waste heat from that afterburner process to preheat the air, the fresh air for the painting cabins. I will go inside first. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. This, is, this is very wild. And that's, that's the rotational heat exchanger. The fresh air comes from here, and then pumps the water through, through there. there. Yeah, yeah. You change it there. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Wow. We are the largest engine manufacturing company in the world and we are in a transition. So we are changing our production lines from the combustion engines to the electric power trains. Of course, if we are talking about sustainability, producing an electric power train uses less energy and it means less decarbonization issues. So you're, you're reducing your energy consumption through the production line here? Yeah, we have the opportunity to gather data from that. We can analyze them and we can uh, think after how can we uh, make it better. So uh, for us it's important to make an optimal solution between economical and ecological uh, demands. This is the Georgia Thermal Project and uh, it is uh, initiated by Audi and Panergy together. And what's the, um, the energy output? Yeah, relatively high, nearly 90,000 megawatt hours per year, which is a quite huge amount. That is a big amount. Yeah, yeah it's a big, big amount. And, uh, the share of this uh, geothermal energy in our heating system is uh, quite expanding and in 22-23 winter period we were able to cover all of our uh, heating needs uh, totally without using natural gas and only with geothermal. That's remarkable. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. So 100% uh, green energy in heating. So this is the epicenter of energy distribution for yeah, the entire yeah. plant right here, right? right? This is the part of the energy distribution system at Audi Hungary. Uh -huh. It's called our energy center. Here are the heat, heat exchangers which exchange with the internal system. Mm -hmm. The heat and is uh, distributed from that uh, place to uh, various parts of the site. 
We, of course, continuously monitoring the consumption and these data points are very useful for us to monitor our efficiency on that issue because uh, there is every time a possibility to, to reduce your energy consumption, to improve your energy efficiency. Just to give you uh, one insight, uh, in the field of electricity we have uh, a little bit more than uh, 5,000 uh, measuring points at the site. And if uh, there is an optimization issue or idea, then we should implement it because uh, we believe that the best energy is the energy that haven't been used.